Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avendian welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 18. Uh, we're, this is our, I believe, 19th season of managing professional baseball. And I think now's a good time to maybe reflect a little bit on how we've done. Um, so we will look at managers... So we began in 2017, and we won the World Series. Uh, we, we, I should say I, but I'll say we. Um, we then, uh, until 2023, we made the playoffs every year. We won a total of three championships, and we haven't made the playoffs since. So, we have a difficult situation ahead of us, namely because last episode, as we discovered... Our rotation is absolute trash. I mean, let, let, let's gaze upon the crapitude that is this rotation. Crapitude is patent pending, by the way. Yeah. 2020. 2020. 38.57. Yeah, this, this is not a good rotation. It's very far from being good. And so a lot of what we're going to have to do this season is spend an awful lot of money. Um, wow. As reliever, Gunner pitched 107 innings. That's pretty impressive. Um, so that's going to be party number one in the offseason. Let's take a quick look at salary arbitration. Um, Jordy Burgess is inoffensive. We can maybe bring him back another season. Um, so we traded for him at, at the trading deadline. And he was okay. That catcher ability means he probably wasn't very good at actual catching. And he was a tiny bit. Um, I will non-tender him. Lando Smilday, I also acquired, and he's just meh, non-tendered. Arturo Nava. Nava hits pretty well, but he can't play center field anymore. Or left field, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and non-tender him, too. And then Arturo Pineda. Uh, Pineda didn't have a great year of hitting. But he remains pretty cheap. And he actually had a little bit of talent. So we might... No, I'm going to non-tender him, too. These are all guys I can easily replace. Um... Let's talk Karyos. What does he want to come back? He's not even a little bit interested. Well, I'm sorry your feelings are hurt. Oh, uh, yeah, DeVille's a terrible starter. Kassan is a terrible outfielder. I wouldn't mind having Tim Hart back. Nope. They're all upset I didn't offer him a contract during the season. Well, I'm not going to offer any of them a million dollars, so they can take a long walk off a short pier. Let's just do a very quick scan to see if there's anyone here that's worth offering a minor league deal. Eh, Avina's at least kind of interesting. We'll offer him a minor league extension. When they have like an amazing year, Sean Baker's year wasn't bad, and we can offer him a minor league extension too. 2.2 .2 war, sure, you can have a minor league extension. Right. Now, the big club. We fired our pitching coach, and deservedly so. And we'll extend everybody here. We also need two new hitting coaches and another new pitching coach. 
let's promote Tyler Gaffney to high A because he's actually been a pretty fair hitting coach for us. Oh, and we need a manager. Um, let's go ahead and pronounce, promote Elion Leva. And that's for the Sally League. There we go. So let's start with hitting coaches. Coach tendencies, hitting coach. Let's go ahead and hire, see, fair is, I mean, go try to hire Justin Johnson. Is it just Danville that, I, okay. Yeah, if he'll take a five-year deal, I'd like to cultivate talent whenever possible. Yeah, you don't want any interest in that. Let's go ahead and hire Fleming Baez. Right. Now we need a manager. Like a Joe Mather, maybe? Ooh, we'll hire Carson Vitale. Five-year deal for you. And then I believe we need one pitching coach. Well, we need a major league pitching coach, too. Hmm. Luis Meza. Highly regarded, really good power pitching coach. Absolutely. And then we need to find one like Julio Sanchez. And we'll give him a five-year deal. Okay, so we got the coaches signed. If we can get Luis Mesa, that should really help us going forward. Let's go ahead and sim ahead a little bit and just see what starts to develop here. Oh, right. I've got to pull everyone off the DL, don't I? Brame, Moochler... Here we go. Uh, two people signed minor league extensions. Luis Mesa is our new pitching coach. This is wonderful news. We got another minor leaguer. We got Justin Johnson as our hitting coach. Julio Sanchez. Hmm. Juan Vargas got a gold glove. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Not even Vargas? A short uh, Mike Tay did have 39 homers. I guess that's not that. Look at the frickin' Dodgers. My god. Three different silver sluggers. That's why they win all the time. Not one of my players was considered Rookie of the Year. Man. Alright, Hall of Fame voting. That's always fun. Um. I will vote for Mad Bum. A roll this Chapman, huh? It did finish over 400 saves. I'm going to wait on him. 
Wilson Contreras, no. David Dahl, yes. Familia, no. Franco, no. Freddie Freeman, yes. Well, Ken Giles is like exactly as good as Aroldis Chapman, and I'm not going to vote for either one of them. Uh, Goldschmidt is a worthy contender. Uh, you know I'm going to vote for Frankie. Only fair for 2,000 hits, but still, come on. Compared to shortstops, he's pretty worthy. Um, Evan Longoria, pretty easy vote for me, too. Do I vote for McCutcheon? Nah. Ah, Oder's kind of crap. I'm, I'm not going to vote for him. Peterson, no. Pedroia, no. Reed, no. Rizzo, yeah, I'll vote for Rizzo. Salazar, mm -mm. Gary Sanchez, no. Marcus Stroman, yes. Dansby Swanson, no. Joey Votto, let's try to see if we can get him in, but I don't think it's very likely. And then no to both Wong and Yelich. Manager of the year, not me. Cy Young, that's definitely not going to be me. MVP, even less likely to be me. So we're just going to send up right up to free agency. And we'll see how much money we have to spend. And they ruled in favor of me. Free agency. Okay. Number one. We need to look and see how much money we have to spend. We have about $10 million for free agents. This isn't very much at all. So we need to be very, very smart with how we spend our money. Let's try to grab one or two reclamation projects. Squire Wealth. That's a pretty cool name. I don't think anyone's disputing that. Let's look at default. I'm only going to spend... I might spend on like hitters too, but... Whoa, what? Oh, OSA thinks he's amazing. We think he's hot garbage. Eh. Catcher is a real weak spot for us. Ah, he's not a very good catcher. Or a very good hitter. Hmm. Pedro Gonzalez back. Okay, let's focus on pitching. That was our biggest weakness last season. A million dollars for Sergio Sergio Matos. Uh, good work ethic, throws hard. Good movement on his pitches. Absolutely. This is the kind of cheap move we need to make to rebuild this rotation. Eric Fawn. Vaughn might be really good one day. I'm willing to spend less than a mil to find out. And then maybe Kenan Barto. Eh, maybe not. Mike White. He'd be okay. We'll, we'll offer him a deal, too. <clears throat> and now we can look at outfielders, because I do want someone to replace Karyos. 
Unless it's just Resendiz, which is possible. Let's see, Young Crossley? Mm, maybe. Where's Karyos, anyway? Wow. I'm sorry, brother. I'd almost bring you back for that price. No, let's not do that. Let's see if we can do better than him. Okay, let's look at batting ratings, sort by power. There's no way we can afford him. Nope. Nope. No, if we do that, mm -mm. What does Humberto here want? Humberto wants nothing. Oh, he used to be on my team. And I actually will go ahead and offer Karios. Um, I'll offer him 1.8 million. Let's do 2 million even. And if you take that, fine. Nope. Alright. <clears throat> On a one-year deal, I'd take that, especially since we don't have a whole lot pending. Except for Arturo Resendiz. Now, he's a name to think about. Resendiz is still incredibly raw at this point. I, I kind of don't want to rush him. I kind of like to promote him. The thing is, he has so much, he has a lot more potential. He has the potential of being an everyday outfielder. Um, and I don't think he has... No, he actually has an extremely huge split right now. He could fill Karyos' role right now. That's something to think about. Uh, but apart from him, I don't have much in the way of interesting prospects. There's Cletus Mullally. He can't play shortstop very good, but he's a pretty good hitter. I know that was pretty terrible. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Um, Andy Chestnut, you've earned a promotion to low A. Dave Davis, you've played in rookie ball now for like four seasons, and you're not showing anything of note. I think it's time I take over. And we'll send you up to low A. Chad Wasworth, an interesting outfielder with a little bit of talent. Um, Steve Bork can only play third base. But, he'd make an interesting chit in a trade. Right. Let's proceed. If Karyos takes the deal, then Resendiz will play the year in AAA. If he doesn't take the deal... We'll promote um, Brissendis. You would give me a bad outfielder for someone who's actually pretty useful to us. The answer to that is no. I appreciate that I need an outfielder. I don't need one that badly. Um, I 
Why is Fawn considered a... Fawn could be a starter. They all signed. Very interesting. Okay, let's put all of you on the Major League roster for now. We might also read the Rule 5 draft too, if there's someone interesting. We're all interested in mostly marginal improvements this season. And then, once we can clear some payroll, you would give me an amazing... Wait, 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 wait. Why would you give up a picture of this magnitude? He's a starter. I'm going to discuss this, but I don't want to give you Omari Queen. And I'm not giving you any of those players either. Yeah, you really like Queen. No, I agree this is an interesting trade, but I like Queen too much, and I don't really have an obvious replacement if I do trade him. We're actually pretty bad off on middle infielders. We'll need to spend some time on that. Rodolfo Contreras? Nope. What is with everyone wanting Queen? Is it just because he plays shortstop or can play shortstop? Okay. A mediocre catcher for a potentially interesting outfielder, and I don't really want to give up Gunner right now. Okay. Oh, you know what I did not do? I did not check to see who among my minor league prospects needs a roster spot so we can keep him. Uh, Wadsworth will be added to the 40 man, and I think he's the only one that matters. Yeah. I've got a bit more talent in the basement part of the, uh, of the franchise. Even else, not bad. We can give him a 40-man spot. What about Walsh? Nope. Avina? Nope. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Oh, right. Juan Barrientos. A switch hitter who hits for very good contact and plays a very good outfield. Wait, switch. Oh, I you didn't get promoted. Uh, yes, absolutely. And the fans are pretty happy about that. That was honestly the one thing I wanted. Jorge Gallegos, eh, he looks pretty bad. I'm just going to finish the draft. Now the only question is going to be... Yeah, Barrientos would start in left. You would start in center. 
and we come up with some sort of platoon arrangement for right. Cool. We do need another catcher, like right now. What do we have on the free agent market for catching? We do need, just need a second catcher. You're not a great catcher. I can see why you're not. Your door's are getting kicked down. Pedro Gonzalez remains a very good catcher. I could see bringing him back. Let's have a two-year deal with the team option. Ahem. <clears throat> Phil Brame is recovering well. This is excellent news. So so far, I think the see. I think our off season has been successful. We've clearly upgraded the rotation. We didn't spend a lot of money. And we also upgraded the outfield, which I did not expect. Um, so Freddie Freeman got in, David Dahl got in, Madison Bumgarner got in. A decent first year for Lindor. Poor Votto, he can't seem to move the needle. Hmm. These guys are really hard on third baseman. Longoria absolutely deserves it, in my opinion. Oh, they go with their closers again. I'm, I wouldn't have voted for Chapman. But hey, it's fine. It's fine. Who did Freeman end up with? Because I remember trading him. Oh, I didn't trade him. He just must have signed with Milwaukee. I can't take credit for Freeman, though he was signed away before I became a thing. Man, Pedro Gonzalez is just dragging it out. Here he goes. Right. And I think this is going to be a pretty good roster to start out spring training with. It's a better roster. Um, and the really good news is, well, the first overall pick in the draft. So we can address whatever, basically anything we want to. I'd like more middle infield depth. I don't think we have any in the minor leagues. I'd like pitching, obviously. We've got a lot of options. Um, yes, that's fine. Let's delete the emails. How did he get injured? Freak on field accent. Pedro Gonzalez, like, I want to start. I don't want this young kid to get a chance. I'm going to take out his kneecaps. It's fine. Okay, wow. Oh, you want Reggie? Mm -mm. He is the most untouchable, untouchable that ever untouchable. I don't even know who Tommy Pete is. That's an interesting trade, but no, I'm not getting rid of Reggie. No, I'm not getting you my closer either. I 
Oh, Earl Weaver, nobody liked you. Jim Palmer liked him. That's about it, though. And let's just click the opening day button. It won't happen. Someone will get injured in spring training. And I want to give it at least a shot to... Oh, I don't have the roster put together. Hang on. Oh, I want everything bench coach. I want everything bench coach. Let's just give, let's set the lineup like this to begin with, and then we'll make a determination when we get closer to opening day. I got a blister from picking my nose, boss. Six and two. Hmm. If he's going to be out for four weeks, we'll just go ahead and put him on the DL right now. Ben Webb hitting over 300. That's interesting. I don't know what it means, but it's interesting. Okay, we will almost certainly get a player development update. Uh, Pete got worse. I guess that's not a huge surprise. A lot of general getting worse. Fitz, you got better. Uh, Steve Bork got worse. Dave Davis got better. Some interesting things here. I mean, nothing... How did Barrientos? What the hell happened? He was like a 70 potential, wasn't he? Okay, this is really weird. I swear his potential was a lot higher than that. They were like, oh, he's really good. Man. All right. Let's him up to the third. And let's start putting the roster together. Okay, we have on the team right now 35 players. 21 pitchers, 14 hitters. So we're really only going to be getting rid of one hitter. And I'll probably Alka Fachoa. Um, we will waive Jordy Burgess. We will waive Minshew. We will waive Newman. We will waive Olivos. We have a lot of bad pitchers on this roster. We will waive Reed. Gives us a lot of starting pitching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight starters. Uh, Bethay, that's an easy decision. I'm willing to give Fitzhugh a chance on the Major League roster, and we'll just get rid of Villagas. He's got good stuff, but it takes more than that to be a good pitcher. I hope we still need to be rid of two more pitchers. If 
I wave, you know what, let's send down Dixon. And then we need to get rid of one more starter. I'm going to take a chance that no one will pick up white on waivers. I need to just get rid of one hitter, and this is going to be easy. It's probably going to be Aqua Fachoa. Actually, it's probably going to be Chad Wadsworth. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Alka Fachoa at least plays all the middle infield positions pretty damn well. Do we have our right-handed bat? We do not. We have Barrientos, but he's going to be playing every day in left field. Uh, what? What? So Resendi's just gained like all of his potential. He's so limited, but he's I can't not call him up. I'll just send down Hofer. And then we'll, we'll we will we will literally start Cassendi's in um You're pretty much just right field, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm not hugely surprised. Let's go with this lineup for now. Do you have... You can't really handle left-handed pitch. I've got a whole team of guys who get eaten alive by left-handed pitching. Um, it's fine. Ish. Okay, let's put the let's put the team together now. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Clear pitching staff. The best starter is Moochler. Followed by Brain. Oops. Matos. Rivera. Who had the better season last season? Carlin or Edders? They both had pretty bad seasons. Um, let's say Carlin. Closer will be Andrade. I'm going to try more traditional bullpen. Except for Gunner. I'm also going to make you my high leverage dude. Uh, Silva can be the other setup man. Ooh, stopper. Oh, I should definitely make him stopper. There we go. Eighth and close game. I think they just added that in the most recent patch. Hmm. There's actually a role called stopper. Like for the Andrew Miller types. Yeah, Andrade pitched a lot of innings last season. I think if maybe we take some of the pressure off, we'll see a bit better performance from him. Um, right, who else? Um, let's just make everyone else a middle relief just for the sake of getting middle relievers for now, and then we can decide who does what. Okay, you definitely deserve to be like a sixth inning setup man type. Because he's actually pretty damn good. Um, Fitz, you can do long relief. There we go. 
What? Why can't I send down editors? Is that, yeah, he's got an option. Let's do it. I need a lefty. Here you go. And your only job is going to be just to face left-handed pitching. Left-handed hitting. Excuse me. There we go. Despite his low stamina, Moochler's been pretty good at staying healthy. And he's given us at least 170 innings every season, so I'm comfortable with that. For now. I don't have any really high stamina guys. Rivera's a workhorse, and so is... You should really be a starter, dude. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make you a starter. Oh, you've only got two pitches. I gotcha. That's a little dangerous to make you a starter then. So that's fine. Pitching staff done. Clear it all. Um. Yeah, it's pretty clearly going to be Gonzalez starting. Reggie's going to be playing every day. No, I'm not going to make him learn catcher. Reggie can play first. Morris second. Warren third. Vargas short. <sighs> We're going to start Karyos in left. Singer in center. Resendiz in right. <clears throat> because A, Barrientos won't be a switch hitter, but he still can't hit left-handed pitching. And B, Karyos' power is something I still want in his lineup. But, Barrientos will play back up to left, and he will pinch hit. And, Webb will back up and right. Barrientos will be back up in center. Uh, Webb will be a pinch hitter. Queen will be a pinch hitter. Webb isn't very fast. Barrientos is really fast, so he can be a pinch runner. And then... Let's get Queen backing up all across the middle infield. And because he plays so many different positions, we'll go ahead and do this for Alcafachoa too. Just a second short and third. Okay. I don't have a lot of options for platooning, so we're actually going to go ahead and let Kari also no. Yeah, we'll let Karyos play every day just for now. And we're going to paste this across the board. We're going to be very exposed against left-handed pitching, and there's not much I can do about that. Um, Resendiz will move to DH. Barrientos will play right. Um, no. We'll let Barrientos play right here, but then we'll let Webb play the outfield there. The other intriguing idea would be to let a uh, queen. And eh, the only outfield position we play is center, though. That's fine. And we will actually do this and this. We'll let Webb play. And then you can back up there. Okay. Let's arrange the lineup. Uh, Pat Moore still did a pretty good job of getting on base last season. A little bit worse than usual. We'll have to see what he does this season. I want another guy who gets on base a lot, so dig in Dave Warren. Um, Who's actually the better hitter between Vargas and Reggie? 
Better contact, better gap power, same for everything else. Tough call. Um, let's go ahead and let Vargas bat third. Uh, batting fifth will be Karyos, then Resendiz, then Gonzalez and Singer batting at the end. Then let's copy this lineup, and we'll just paste it in here since it's the same team. And we'll paste it here, and we'll paste it here. So we'll do Barrientos, DH. Web. DH. And then we'll do this, and this, and this, and then this, and that, and that. That's fine. So, that'll be our starting lineup. Which means we'll sim up to opening day. I bet a couple of these guys will get claimed. There's not much I can do about that. I don't know, Mike Avenel was hurt. Just sent him to AAA. I don't have anything to do with him. And... Ah, uh, Chad Edders got claimed by the Cubs. Well, it's fine. Send them all to AAA. I don't, I don't even care if someone else claims them. Right. So with this lineup, how do they think we shall... F First, let's take a look at our minor league system rankings. This probably, we're probably near the bottom. Yeah, Resendiz was the really good one. He just got promoted. We never fully rebuilt our minor league system. That's actually going to be something we do a really good job of this season. Um, if we look at preseason predictions, what do they predict for the Braves? They predict we'll come in second. They seem to think we've done a lot to improve the team. They think Vargas will be a top 10 hitter, as will Reggie. And then Brame and Muchler will both be uh, excellent pitchers. I hope they're right. To find out, though, we're going to have to wait until next episode. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. Please uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of our team. How we did in the offseason. I think we substantially improved the rotation. Granted, it would be really hard to have a worse rotation than the one we did. Um, and I'm excited to see how Resendiz does. Um, he was He's ready a lot faster than I thought he'd be. So we'll see uh, what he can do and if, what Karyos can do. But those are all going to be questions for next episode. Until then, this has been Avindian. And I bid you good day.